Today we're going to take a quick look at how the OSSC performs with the Sharp X68000 computer. What's happening guys, Todd here. I thought I'd bring you another video dedicated to the open source game converter. Out of all the video game consoles and computers I own, the X68000 is probably the most difficult to deal with regarding its display output. The computer boots up at 31 kHz, however some games run at 15, others start at 31, and some of even use a medium res 24 kHz. Even worse is the fact that some games will switch resolutions and scan rates between gameplay and cutscenes. This makes finding a display to use with it difficult. Ideally a tri-sync like Sharp's original X68000 monitors or something like the NEC XM29 is the most ideal. But what if you want to use an LCD? I'm happy to report that OSC does a wonderful job handling the X68000's odd duck display needs. 15, 31, 24 kHz scan rates, they're all supported and they look great when you attach the X68000 to the VGA input on the OSC. Plus you can take advantage of the OSC scan line options for a closer to CRT experience if that's your thing. I've noticed on a couple games, they default to a narrower aspect ratio. You can usually resolve this by either adjusting the game's output resolution from inside the game or going into the menu on the OSSC and correcting its output options from there. The best part is the fact that OSSC does not attempt to scan convert games to 60Hz. I used to own a Microsoft XPC4 for my X60000, however it forces the output to 60Hz and most games do not run at that refresh rate. For example, Castlevania on the X68000 actually runs at 56Hz. With the XPC4, when moving your character you would get an occasional jerkiness as it tried to convert the game from displaying as 56 to 60. However, with the OSCC it's buttery smooth as it displays games at the same refresh rate that it processes them at. Oh, and of course there's zero lag. This does mean you only have a display that works well with stuff other than 60Hz. I have had really great success with pretty much all of Dell's modern LCDs. 60Hz, 50Hz, and everything in between usually work well with smooth scrolling and no jitter. Well guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and feel free to leave a comment below. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to have another X68000 video out real soon. If your X68000 computer fan is kind of noisy, you'll certainly want to keep an eye out for that video. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.